when I joined this service, it was a punitive organization. In the past, you just punish them and then from there they become hardcore. The culture of doing things by that time was really against human dignity and human rights. Totally it was wrong. Locking up people alone without addressing the problem will not solve the problem. As long as the individual factors remain the same within that person, that person is most likely to re-offend again. I wasn't working, I wasn't having money, and life was a bit hard. So it pushed me in something. And that's why I did that crime. We had people that committed crimes and then they were put here. There was no rehabilitation. And as a result, after going out, they still commit the same crime again. Reoffending is a serious problem. Within the space of five months, this person have already reoffended and you find them back in the prison corridors. When you release them into society, they become idle, there's nothing they do, they feel the only home is prison. Reoffending rates are highest among those who leave correctional facilities without any income generating skills. The government have now realized that we need to strengthen our rehabilitation program. The president declared it must concentrate more on rehabilitation. If we didn't have corrections and we continued with our punitive measures, as was done in the past, the crime rates would be very, very high. People can make mistakes and they can change once they get help. They have the means to transform. They have the will. It's just that they need that guidance of their transformation. When you equip them with soft skills, you allow them to go out there with confidence and be able to really fend for themselves. The correctional system is using gradual graded as well as evidence-based methodologies to try to bring up the effective rehabilitation and transformation thereof of its inmates. Now it's called a correctional facility because it's correcting the behavior of that person. That changed the picture completely. We teach offenders cognitive skills and we teach offenders vocational skills. We believe this will eventually lead to rehabilitation and ultimately social reintegration of offenders into community as law-abiding citizens. When you give a person new hope, that will definitely contribute to the reduction in re-offending. When social reintegration initiatives start early within the criminal justice process, there is a maximum positive effect on, on the offender. Rehabilitation is very, very, very important if it's tailored to the acquisition of vocational skills. Great officers are coming up with great ideas and plans. And we are able to connect to great people. The generous support of the state of Qatar has enabled UNODC to support prison-based education, vocational training and work programs in a selected group of countries, Namibia being one of them. If we could get an organization that has a headquarter in Vienna to come and assist us here, then it's rightfully so because they see the potential. It is truly an honor to be with you at this important event to officially hand over this soap manufacturing facility to the Namibian Correctional Service. This machine is the one that we use for mixing the liquid detergents. The all-purpose cleaner plus the dishwashing liquid are produced here. This project is envisioned to be one which can make a great impact in the organization's strive to be more self-sufficient as well as cultivate positive change 
in the lives of offenders and community at large. So project will help make a difference in our life. It will have a positive impact on our lives. We now have an opportunity to be productive while incarcerated. Because of this, we no longer feel worthless. We know this has also supported the basket making and sewing project. They made four or five of these in a day. I'm in here to learn how to design clothes and even the programs that the NCS are giving to us. It also learn you a lot and they, you, you actually change a lot. Last year, a new partnership was forged with our sister agency, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, to set up a hydroponic garden for the Hobabis Correctional Service Center. The hydroponic project came at the right time when the country is in need of innovative ideas to provide food for the nation while imparting skills. The idea of this project is to produce large quantity of vegetable at all times for the benefit of both the inmates and to supply to the surrounding community. It is a great pleasure to officially inaugurate this hydroponics project at the Hobavis Correctional Facility. I'm cutting this ribbon as an indication that the hydroponic is open for business, officially. As a region, we are concerned because we have been struck by the drought since 2012. With this hydroponics project, you realize that it saves 70 to 90% of the water, unlike the traditional method. If you measure a specific portion of land, you realize that the hydroponics project is going to yield around three to four times more than the traditional method. 15 meters by 15 meters, you can produce such a lot of food because it grows faster, you can have this several times within a shorter period of time as compared to the traditional method. It takes only two weeks for these things to grow until here. Only two weeks. Then we are harvesting. When I saw this, I just thought this is exactly what we have been preaching to our people and this is practical on the ground that has been done here. These green things, they are opening your mind wide. If you look at the offenders, the way that we are rehabilitating them, you realize that every intervention, every program, everything that we are doing is tailored on the specific needs because we are saying these needs are the ones that drives them to engage in crimes. If these needs are addressed, then the possibility of them changing and becoming productive members of the community is high. I thought that I was a useless person, but when I came here and I started learning this, at least I can see now that I have some sense. Working here gives them direction, gives them purpose, gives them structure. At least now I have got skills. I know where to start and where to end. You come in, let me say as a raw product. You go out as a finished product. Correctional facility made me a better person. It made me to realize that if you wanted to change, you can change. If all our offenders go through this type of programs, that means they are able to learn a skill and they are able to use that to really make a life after a release. It's a second chance. God has given me a second chance by learning me this. Those offenders, they make me feel, feel proud. I'm seeing the light that side of the tunnel.